started. The Yogi King. Okay, let's uh, start out with D4 again, see if we get a real D4 opening this time. Yogi King is from Mexico. Okay, D4, G6. <clears throat> this could be a King's Indian or a Pierce defense, but let's just put the pawns up here since we can and see how he wants to play. Okay, this is a, a like a Benoni, except he hasn't brought his knight out. And it's not a modern Benoni since he hasn't played e6, so there's the knight out. So this is some kind of Benoni. Black has a good bishop with the along the dark squared diagonal. Let's see, I don't think I'm losing any material yet. Where is that knight going? That knight can hop into to e5 and also keeps me from pushing e5, which I'm not uh, in a hurry to do. Let's um, kick the bishop while it has no retreat squares and force this exchange. He's going to have to trade the bishop for the knight. And then I want to keep this bishop, so let's uh, drop it back here, as long as I'm not uh, losing material. I'm defending, defending the c-pawn, too. So let's see if I'm holding on to everything. And uh, this is a structure where I do want to trade off the, uh, the bishop if I get a chance to. So bishop to e3. And queen to d2 is possible. But uh, well, he's maybe going to put pressure on the b pawn and the c pawn. The queen. The queen can attack the c pawn from a6, but not here because the knight covers it. And uh, it can attack the b pawn from b6 or b4. Yeah, queen b4, I guess. Queen b4 is the idea, attacking the c-pawn and the b-pawn. So, let's start by defending the knight. <clears throat> I defend the knight so I can play the move b3 here. Which will defend the pawn without uh, leaving a loose piece on this diagonal. Well, it is still kind of loose, isn't it? I could kick the queen here. The queen can't take the pawn because it's uh, protected by the bishop. And then where would it go? Probably just back where it came from. Then the c-pawn is uh, safe. Queen's guarding the e square. This this uh, e4 square. The, my knight is pinned, but I have queen takes e4 here. And um, let's see. We can unpin the knight here. And now I've got two pieces defending the knight. So even if the queen and the <laughs> and the bishop are both attacking it, it's a defended piece. So queen to a6, uh, I can then play b6, and I should be okay. So um, oh, let's castle. And drop my queen back here, because I want to trade off this um, pesky bishop here. Potentially dangerous piece in this uh, setup. And he's preserving the bishop. But this operation weakens the um, f7 pawn if he decides to retreat the bishop. That's usually the motivation. Playing rook f8 to e8 allows this bishop to retreat without giving up the exchange. Yep, there he goes. Okay, so I want to continue getting things off of the uh, e-file. I mean, <laughs> getting things off of this diagonal. So I'm going to start with um, rook to b1 here. Okay, and that's a 
typical modern Benoni type of move. And um, let's see. I could go for a symmetric structure here. I could throw in the um, move F4 here. I haven't really thought about this, but where is that knight going? Back to... <clears throat> the knight goes back to D7. That's the only square, right? It removes one more defender from F7. So if I can figure a way to get a piece over there to attack F7, this rook is already kind of lined up against it. That might be interesting. Might be able to break through there at some point. Okay, so speaking of breaking through, can I play <laughs> E5 here? Probably not. Pawn takes, pawn takes, knight takes. Don't have anything great there. If I bring my queen out to E3, he's going to take here. Maybe move the queen over to um, e8, e1, and then come out to g3, something like that. Yeah, so this opens up the e file. If I take this way, I could try and keep it closed, but. Um, See, if I take and he brings his knight out here, I can just take that. Rook takes. And um, everything's defended, it looks like. <clears throat> and my knight is defending the bishop, which is important because I want to be able to move my queen out and unpin quickly. But uh, let's see, knight here, knight takes, rook takes, probably queen f, f2, defending the bishop. Oh, no, queen f2 is dangerous because it puts it on this diagonal. Got to watch out for this uh, bishop suddenly appearing here, yeah. So that's, that's what was played. Let's see. If I just move my queen away, he can take here and undefend the uh, undefend my bishop. It's a little bit unfortunate. Um, take rook takes is what I had been planning, um, but then he does have bishop here, so I can't go queen f2. I could go queen uh, d2. just to unpin and uh, still hold on to the bishop. He can, of course, play rook to uh, rook to e and uh, d4 as well as bishop d4. Both those are possible moves. Okay, but he plays the pawn up. Oh, interesting. So he's going to support that rook there. And if I move my bishop here, I guess he's going to pin it. Let's defend the pawn here. So I can maybe bring my bishop to um, f3. That might be an interesting place for it. Check. So I'm guessing that's the right square. He doesn't have a knight here to hop in and fork my king just yet, but uh, it's it's getting there. <laughs> it's going to find a way. <laughs> the rip or the uh, the knight will find a way. I'm going to oppose rooks on the um, e file here. I can also pin this knight now. Uh, let's see if I can get something on the e file. That's interesting. Is he planning to bring his queen over? The, the um, I'm not sure what that was about. Yeah, he's planning to bring his queen over. Okay, so let's um, exchange. K 
can't let him really gain control of that file. That would be too much. So I have to really uh, <clears throat> act quickly here. If I take, takes back with the bishop and I bring the rook here. Where does the bishop go? It can go back here. It can go here or here. Attack it again. It can drop back along this way here. Doesn't have a lot of squares. But in any case, I get the um, <clears throat> I get the e file this way. No, I don't. He doesn't move the bishop. He just uh, he just leaves it there. Okay, I can attack the knight. Knight can't hop forward because that uh, loses the uh, bishop. So where does the knight go? He can defend the knight. Okay, he goes there. So everything's defended. Let's see. I could bring my rook forward to e6. And if he takes, then I've got a passed pawn there. And uh, puts more pressure on his knight. Which, uh, now I'm threatening to take the knight and then take the rook, I guess. Couldn't do that before because the rook was going with check, but now I am threatening to take the knight and take the rook. So he takes there and uh, gives me this passed pawn. So let's see if I can do something with this. <laughs> I've had a number of uh, winning positions lately that I've uh, drawn or lost, so uh, there's no guarantee here. Need to get my king into the game. Okay, and and uh, his his knight is getting active, huh? Let's see. If I push this pawn forward immediately, his king can come to this square. And then he can take my bishop and trade it off. So let's leave the status quo here with the bishop. And um how do I get my king in the game? King has to come out through this um through the g7 square here, I guess. Okay, so let's um g2 square. Let's push this pawn forward. I can't go to g3 because the knight can take it. Knight can take my bishop. Maybe that's what he should play here. But then uh, I will take back and I'll get this square for my bishop, defending the pawn. It's something. Let's see, what's the time? 230 to 520, so I have time. Not yet out of time. I can also grab the b-pawn here if that knight moves, so I've got a couple ideas. His knight can come in here and attack my pawns, and that's uh, a way for him to play more actively. But if he goes here, I'll grab the b-pawn and then come back to this square and march, march my uh, e-pawn forward. The bishop and the pawn, notice they control all these squares, so his king is not easily um, coming over here and getting into the game. And uh, my king can get into the game. I have kind of a circuitous route here, here, here. <laughs> Always watching out for those knight checks. Here I can get over on the light squares. Also, if he exchanges here, I am threatening. Yeah, okay, so he takes there. Pretty logical. Now let's see what's next. He defends that guy. Okay, my idea was just to go here, so I'm threatening to push with check. The king will probably run immediately to, uh, to f8. So bishop here, king f8, and there's no big deal. Let's take a pawn, exchange a pawn rather. Try and get a second a second threat going over here. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe I should have moved my king first. Keep his bishop from coming to the square. He can kind of push these pawns forward with his by attacking them with his bishop. Yep. But uh, that's not too bad. The pawns come forward here. Mm, maybe it's not so great. He can never um, take with his king, but he can blockade with the bishop. So this may just be a draw. Yeah. Let's think. If I defend this pawn and he comes to attack my bishop, I can go forward and then he takes it anyway. And I get my bishop here, but this pawn is blockaded. I have to get my bishop out of the way so I can mark, march my king in. Yeah, I'm just going to have to hold a draw here. My king can blockade this pawn. I can't ever push this pawn forward. His bishop will snap it off. Um, and I need to use my king to keep his king from penetrating. Can't let his uh, king come over here and gobble up my pawns. That's the uh, the big danger in this position here. Check. Yeah, he's trying to run me out of moves here. So can he win um, even if I give up this pawn? See, my king doesn't have any moves, but my bishop can always just go back and forth, right? If he uh, takes my pawn with the king, then my king steps forward. That's my idea here. And so I'm still keeping his king out of these squares. And if this pawn comes forward, I take it. And uh, so that shouldn't be a problem here, right? So he's just moving his bishop around, which is not, not a bad plan. That's what I'm going to do too. <laughs> he can draw my king away just by pushing this pawn at some point. But basically when his king comes over to the uh, that file, yeah, then I'll step in front of the pawn with my king. So, two pawns down after uh, <laughs> what seemed like a good position. <laughs> mm -hmm. Story of my life. Yeah, now he's going to try and bring his king around. 
so I may have to set up a second front here. Can't keep him from getting to that square. It's a bit unfortunate. So let's go over here and stop him from getting to. Uh, I think it was there, and then I can check. check. I can just keep this bishop on the diagonal if this king comes forward, so it's not a problem. And when his king comes back over this way, then I, I move my king forward to, um, <clears throat> what's that, d3 there, at a critical moment to keep his king from getting into d4. So I think I can blockade, stop all this progress. It's uh, nice how the bishop on this one diagonal is controlling his two extra pawns. So that's the that's the key to drawing with these um, <clears throat> with these end games. have to keep control of that square so uh, just uh, move the bishop at this point so I don't let his king in and uh, when his king goes there come around here at some point <laughs> he will uh, he will either run out of ideas and agree to a draw or uh, or else <clears throat> let's see what can he do here nothing or else we will have uh, achieved some kind of uh, threefold repetition. Check. In like this position we've been in at least once before. Okay, now he's trying to come forward. Yeah, that doesn't work either because I can just sit here with my king and snap off the pawn when it moves. Check. And then I have to move my king forward here to uh, keep his king from penetrating, but he still can't get in. He can play there, but uh, I can move my bishop, and all I can do is go back. So, well, if I pull this off, let's see if this is a draw. Draw off. Draw. Yeah, so we've repeated by now. Anyway, a good example of how to draw with opposite colored bishops, even when you're uh, down a couple of pawns. The key is uh, using the king and the, the bishop to blockade and uh, getting the bishop on a good diagonal. Anyway, uh, I will upload this and do a postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.